welcome back. I'm really, really excited about this new DIY. So I just recently moved into a new place and I'm really, really loving it. But the first thing I had to do was decorate. I can't live in a space for more than five days and not decorate. Like I bring stuff to decorate hotel rooms. That's how much I need to decorate a space to feel at home. And so what I also wanted to do when I came here was make a welcome mat for myself. So that I fairly felt comfortable. So a couple of things. Uh, I mean, it's a DIY, and I'm kind of figuring it out as I go, and then once I figure it out, then I can show you how to do it. But I had a little bit of a rough time this time, because I didn't really think it through that much about the mat itself. I got it from Ikea, which is really, really great. It costs like five bucks. But the way that it is, which I think is probably like most of these outdoor mats, is it's kind of like a rough texture, and so when I tried to paint it, it didn't really go that well. I thought I would just like smoothly roll it on. That did not work at all. So I'm telling you this because if I were you, <laughs> I would get a spray paint. I think a white spray paint would do the trick, or just a white mat. And you can do what I did, but it was a bit of a struggle, so that would be my advice to you. But yeah, if you got like a white mat or spray painted it white, I think it would do the little trick. So I also put a bit of a complicated phrase on it, which I really, really like. I love seeing that when I'm walking in my door. But if you just wrote welcome, it would be just as cute. I also made really cute tassels for it, so I'll show you how to do that. Don't you worry. So, let's start! Okay, so first let's gather our supplies. So you need a plain brown mat, some yarn, colorful, great. Uh, these pins are called tidy pins. Probably regular ones would work, but these are great because they're double-ended. Then you need some paint and some paint brushes. Let's go! Okay, so you're just gonna roll it on. Yeah, so like I said, it didn't go on that smoothly, so I had to do a bunch of coats so a spray might work better. Alright, time to make our tassels. So I just wrapped it around my four fingers a bunch of times, kind of depends on how thick you want, maybe about 20 times. Alright, now that you've gotten the thickness you wanted, you can kind of slip it off your fingers and trim the end. Now you can take the end and then loop it in between your fingers. Just kind of just make a little stretch and then you can wrap it in between and then tie it off. And then you just trim the long part. All done. It's basically all there is to it. And then we'll just put our hook through that loop. So with the lettering, one trick is to find out what the middle character is and also figure out exactly how many words are going to fit on each line. So sketch that out first, then figure out your middle character and put that in the middle and then draw one way and then draw it the other way. Otherwise you might start writing and run out of room on one end. So what's great about these pins is that they're double-ended, so you just kind of loop it through the loop. So the loop is sitting on the flat end, and then you can just take your pins and stab it into the mat. And it stays, it's perfect. <laughs> 